Researchers in Michel Miharovitz's lab at the University of California, Berkeley, have developed a wireless system to control the flight of a giant beetle. A scientist sends a wireless signal from the laptop to the beetle to start and then stop flight. The beetle, seen in the upper part of the frame, is tethered for practical purposes. Try it one more time. Start command. Stop command. Wow. Okay. Okay, we went. We did some input onlys. Let's do some output onlys. So um, that's a you know the video doesn't really do justice to how amazing what they were able to do is. They can actually control remote control this bug's muscle movements, right? To get them to fly left, to get them to fly right. And what do they do? They ping the right the right neurons to make muscle A go. Ping the right neurons to make muscle B go. Muscle A goes, and the thing flies one direction. Muscle B goes, and it flies another direction. Very rudimentary, brand new kind of stuff, but you can see where it's going, right? The the ability to control the output of um, of organisms, of actual living organisms, um, and so you know, no input fidelity here because we're not talking about input, but very high fidelity. So for movement, for, a speci for specific muscles, it is the movement. They have made this bug do something that it would naturally do, right? So it's very high. So does the bug leave? <laughs> Who knows? I mean, I, that's not applicable here. And it's, is he immersed in that? You know, does he feel like that's the real reality? Hard to say for a beetle, right? But, um, but you get the implication, right? I mean, you know, and, and I think you've seen, you know, you've probably seen this in, in one, one or more movies. The guy presses the button and it makes you walk like a zombie, right? And you have to do it. And you're, you know, and in a way it's very interesting because you're forced to do the behavior, but you don't believe it and you're not immersed in it. Or you are a zombie. And if you're an actual zombie, I guess that's it. That's the definition of a zombie, is that you are under the control of somebody else and if this is a, a certain, certain kind of zombie, the kind of zombie that's under the control of somebody else, <laughs> who actually is immersed in that, and not only don't they have any control over it, but they believe that they're in that environment, and they believe that that's the world that they live in. Okay, so we have examples of input only, we have examples of output only. Let's continue on our cyborg trail.